This is the Crafty Chemist. I also go by Happy. And today I want to show you the coloring books that I have added to my collection and I'll start coloring in 2023. This is a brand new coloring book that even has a um, copyright in it for 2023. I saw it somewhere in the book. Um, a 2023 Quarto Publishing Incorporated. And um, it is called Goblin Core and it has a lot of really fun pictures of you goblin and fairy world and other kind of creepy or um, anatomical kinds of images that I'm super excited to color. I picked this one up at Barnes and Noble with my son and it is very similar to the Christmas book that I picked up in that it has all these different patterns printed on the back of the paper and the paper is the same type of paper which is kind of smooth and it is a very uh, square, well it's almost square, it's slightly rectangular book. This is just a top grid notebook. I like to take a lot of notes in it and I plan to use a bunch of stencils that I got. I purchased four Coloring Haven uh, magazines off of Etsy and uh, Flora and Fauna is one of them. This is all um, animals and things with the animals drawn in the shapes of the numbers and the letters. So that would be a lot of fun to do. Maybe I should do like a the letter of the week kind of thing or something like that. Um, but there's 48 um, images in there. Apparently she's, uh, this Kelly O'Gorman has other images and other things. Um, this is my first purchase of Coloring Haven coloring books. I bought the Elements Special Edition um, book. I don't know if there's like issues or this is issue 90. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know when things come out uh, since this is my first time purchasing. But um, lots of really neat pictures of um, the earth, air, fire, and water elements. Um, so very excited to color some of these in here as well. I think it can be good seasonal if I wanted. Maybe I should do something like... Um, first part of the year do one of them and another part of the year do another. Um, about the Starry Night special, this is its issue 86. Um, it has Wee Shan Ong is the artist and um, this is the girl from the cover here. Oh, I just realized I could color the covers of these. Um, <laughs> I like how they have color combination charts in the back and there's some like wizards in at the end but the rest of it is all pictures of um different female characters and it tells you know who they are um and the very detailed drawings in here uh, like this uh, i don't really have any kind of portrait type books so this one will be a completely different kind of thing for me and then this one's issue 85, Wildwood Witches. And this has images by Steve Hutton in it. Um, the line art is a lot finer in this one. The one thing I noticed about it is that some of the faces are um, awkward. Um, they don't quite fit the bodies or they have a funny, like, she's just kind of got, it's like, we're half of her head's missing or something. I don't know. Um, so I like other aspects of it. I don't know if I can just do something special with the faces. The rest of these books are books that I got used. Um, and for each of them, I paid 
um, less than five dollars for all of the different books like each one I think the least I paid was two dollars and the most I paid was five so um, this one is pop mango cute and creepy coloring book which I know there's a lot of flip throughs of this out there it does have a little bit of a uh, problem with the spine and otherwise I think that there was only just this one page that somebody had colored in here and that's okay it's not even one that I'm that interested in um yeah I, I'm not necessarily interested in it and it didn't bleed through into the other page which I do really like this one I think it's cute with the little dragons this is definitely a different style for me I do like uh kawaii um so this manga is going to be different, but um, some really cute and fun things. I like the shading, which will also be a, a different thing for me to try. Um, but this, like, really, like, she's adorable. Um, yeah, totally different thing. I think there was one other page where like, somebody had, like, colored on the lace. I think somebody used a marker here on the lace, but again, it didn't bleed through and it's not that much to worry about. I can either incorporate it in there or do something. I bought uh, this Creatopia coloring book. Um, actually, this one says where I got it from, I think. Um, I have to make sure I put some of that stuff back up. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this one came from Tennessee. Um, so I actually didn't know what it was going to be like, but I've seen this book on the internet before, and it looks kind of fun for uh, finished things, but some of the pictures are already finished for you. So maybe I'll get creative. Like I said, it is only on one side. Um, so like here you would be able to draw in your own thing and here exactly the same doodling on the butterflies um fill on the page with guinea pigs i had a guinea pig once his name was calvin he was a sweetie um i mean i suppose you could doodle some more in there if you wanted in the stripes obviously this uh antler needs to be finished So there's some pictures that are completed and some that they want you to complete, like finish the snake's body. I've never done anything like this. I'm not a artist or even really much of a doodler, but it seemed like a fun concept. Um, and I'm excited to try it. Um, so this book here, I paid $1.90 for from Libra, And it is... Tokyo Street Style. I don't remember if it had anything in it, but I was excited for it because I mean, you can see some of the small images in the back. It has all the images from the book are in the back. So it kind of has um, pictures of people in the clothing and then some background wallpaper type things, um, some street views. Um, accessories and I don't think this one had any marks in it at all oh I think that this may have been the only mark a single pink oh, which that came off anyway so um, I think that was the only thing that in it it's just adorable and I'm very excited to practice coloring clothing um, and not have to worry about any of the features of the face and some accessories and some of these back, the background images. So those ones I had got off of the internet. This one I went to my local store, um, not like a used bookstore, and I found this book. Uh, it was listed as two sixty five, but I had a trade in, so I paid uh, seventy five cents for it. I think no. I would have paid 25 cents for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so it's street art. Um, never seen anything like it before. And I think that 
just think this will be a lot of fun to try. It is one-sided, so I can also try paint and markers and doing really brightly colored things. And I have enjoyed street art on a lot of my trips places. Um, so I'll be looking for inspiration and hopefully having a lot of fun with the doodly kind of designs in here. Um, I don't, I think there was maybe again one page in this one that had been colored um, on a little bit. So, you know, for what I paid for it, if there's a page colored up a little, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I feel like there could be a lot of fun things to do in there. This one um, is Color Art, the Wellbeing Collection, and it's from the UK. Again, it's labeled as $5, <clears throat> but I did not pay that much for it because I took some of my books there and traded them in. But these are very um, graphic. There's a lot of patterning to them. And the paper feels really neat. Um, it's very velvety feeling. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a shine to the stuff that's printed on it. It is one-sided, so I can play with markers in it or paints or it's something that might run through the page and not worry because I can put something behind it. But it's a lot more pattern things than I'm used to coloring. I just don't, I did those when I first started coloring as a kid. The other thing I picked up was Paint Watercolors That Dance With Light by Elizabeth Kincaid. And this one, I, you know, was sold originally for $29. I did not pay $5 for it. I would have paid a dollar for it. Uh, and I'm excited to learn a little bit more about watercolors. I watch a lot of videos and um, on YouTube and other social media platforms that people put out there and try to learn from that. And this will be fun to get into. So in addition to all the other books that I've gotten in the past month, I bought these. So I I'm hoping that I can talk myself into going on a no buy for the next couple of months because I have plenty of things to color and I also have a whole set of little notebooks that I will be using stencils on to get ready for my classes. So I've like got a different one for each class and I bought bullet journal um, stencils to kind of help with just grids and not having to, to spend so much time drawing out the grid. Hopefully I can just draw lines on it. But I haven't gotten started on these because I'm on break. So, uh, Happy New Year, and I hope you enjoyed the flip through of books that I will be coloring in soon, hopefully. Bye! Happy coloring!